guys, how's it going? Happy Friday. What a week. Like, oh my God. I see, and I feel like it's been so long. I feel like it's kind of Oh my gosh. Oh no, this week has flown, <laughs> flown, 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 flown. So, we love today. You know why? I need to, I need to give everybody a minute just to be able to kind of pop on here. It takes and breathe. so long. Hey, Dawn. Hey, guys. Um, we love the days that we are introducing new stencils. It's fun. Because it opens up a whole new world of mm -hmm. all the things that we can create. Yes. The stencils are the apex to, as Michelle says, all the things. All the things. And we went Target shopping. So, hey, Leona. So, we've got some really great Target hacks that you're going to be able to make the cutest stuff to be able so to cute. use to enjoy outside, to be able to wear, to entertain, mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. Yes. Hey, Caprisa. So, guys, as you pop on here, please say hey. Tell us where you're tuning in from and send us some love. Hey, Marsha, send us some love. Gladys, everybody, some hearts and some love. That just, we, we love that. We love the love. And if you're not familiar with how we do this, if you share this video and tag three friends, your name goes in for a drawing because we're going to be giving this away. Look at this. Yay. Now, we, I'm just going to tell you, hey, hey, Jennifer from Texas, we have the cutest projects that you're going to see. They're We've got so great. several projects today that are adorable. Part of one, of, look at this, <laughs> look at this. This is, hey Dina. Cute. This is from the Target section again. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of great Target hacks. But I love this one because when I am entertaining outside by the pool, yes. and we eat a lot outside, mm -hmm. I can put my silverware, yes. my glasses, plates, my plates, mm -hmm. everything, and I'm done. Like and it's so cute. And leave it in here. So my suggestion would be just take some, and I need to actually outfit it so that way you can see it. Do some glasses mm -hmm. and just a glass. Well, you probably need to use something like an acrylic glass. It'll hold its shape. Mm -hmm. Put your forks in it. Put your spoons in it. And then um, have your napkins and stuff, but your paper plates. And then that's, that's your caddy. It's so great. So cute. It's so great. And it needs to look cute for, for summer. Of we course. love that. So we like we've got our new caddy. So here's our, that way you can look at it again. Now look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Now look at these. Eek! Look at this. They're so cute. Are these the cutest plates you've ever seen? Now, these are really fun and really easy if you've never done these before. Because I love, uh, let's just hold them together so they can see the variety. Is this the cutest thing ever? Now, what, what grandchild, what child, what, what person coming no, to your what house? Grown up. What? I want, a grown up. I told Amy, I want the flip flop plate. Like, is I that love the these cutest? Flip -flops. I think they're so but cute. Look, even at this, to be who doesn't eat watermelon in the summer? Um, yeah, you don't. It gets me a headache. We oh can't my gosh! Explain it. it did my grandmother too. It runs in our family somehow. We, we're not allergic, but it gives us a headache almost instantaneously. It's oh weird. my gosh! Watermelon with fresh mint. Oh and my some mom balsamic. gets giant ones and just cuts them for her and the kids. So the kids eat it like crazy. I just can't. I like the smell of it, all the things. It just Those of you who like with watermelon, <laughs> you can make these with me. I do like ice cream. Love ice cream. <laughs> <coughs> ice cream that. and popsicles. Yes, please. Yes. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't those flip flops be darling etched on glass? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They would. love that idea. We love that hand. Any of these would be beautiful, etched on little glass coasters. Yes, but look so at this. fun. I love the fact that they've been hand watercolored. Mm -hmm. Now let's show them our shirt. This is the back of the shirt. This is the back of it. Is this the cutest? Hello, Summer. I love, I love that idea, Stacy. Yes, look at that. I love it. So classic, so fun. Now show them the front. There's a little sunshine added to the front on Look at the this. lapel. Look at that. Just very subtle. Just really cute. The embellishments. You can eat off the plates you stencil. Absolutely you can, Laura. Just pop them in the oven. Use the ceramic paint. Pop them in the oven. 
Bake them on 325 for 25 or 30 minutes. Let it cool down in the oven, and you're good to go. Keep them out of the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. We really suggest hand, hand washing, washing them. But then that way you can enjoy them, and they're adorable. Adorable. They're so cute. So look at this. We're going to be able to make a caddy to be able to put our silverware and our plates and everything in to have out by the pool. Charge. We're going to be able to make a shirt. We're going to do that. I am loving this. I think it's so, so cute. So great. Happy. And those of you who, too, maybe you've got kids or grandkids going off to camp. Can we have our sons out, guns out? <laughs> no, Michelle. <laughs> we don't have that. I want to put it on a baby onesie. In a rain hurry. <laughs> no, I don't. So, anyway. Hey, Debbie Scott. Hey, Teresa Orr. Hey, Sean. Hey, guys. So, as you pop on here, please say hi and send us some love. And we're going to show you. We're going to make um, we're gonna make a caddy, some plates, and a t-shirt. All with our brand new, adorable stencil, stencil Hello Summer. Yes, it's, we love Look it. at this. It's absolutely the best. Look at the details even on the watermelon. It's so cute. Isn't that the cutest? Thank you for sharing and sprinkling, Debbie. Debbie Scott. So cute. All right, so I'm going to turn this down here. And oh yes, that would be cute. Well, here that's the fun thing. Is she was saying she would rather have the flip flops on the front and hell all summer on the back. How? Yes. I'm actually going to put the flip flops on the front. I'm going to go rogue because so, we want the sun on the plate. Yes, that's so cute. Yes, so cute. But you so can I'm just have you. fun with it. That's the whole point. You win. <laughs> we're all hey. We're all about summer, Dina. I am. Yes. I am all about summer. And being outside, and I need to, I need to probably come up with a, something about mosquitoes. <laughs> How much we hate them. I was, um, the name of the store, hey Alice, so you must be a, a newbie. Um, we, Welcome. This is A Makers Studio, and so you can go to uh, www.makerstudio.com. And just use this as a segue, my name is Amy. I'm Michelle. And we are going to be your... Um, teacher makers teachers while we show you on this uh live facebook page that we are going to use different products with the stencil so are you ready to do this yes all right so i'm going to turn this down continue to say hey share the video tag three friends and your name will go in for a drawing and then we're going to be giving this away I love this. on monday afternoon we're going to give the stencil away and I want, I want one shirt, and I, so I'm not going to give this shirt away. I want a sure. shirt, and I want to give one as a gift. Is that terrible? No. Okay. I tell you what. I tell you what. We're also, we do have some beach-themed stencils. Who says that? Who said that? Who said that? Hey, Linda, we do. We have some. Hey, Jan from, uh, Jane from Florida. You're so sweet. Thank you, Laura. Okay, let's do this. So keep saying, hey, guys, we're going to turn this down because we're going to show you how to do this. But you can still continue to share the video and send us some love. And then um, that way we're going to be able to do this together. Yay. Such a cute idea. All right, let's do this. I'll turn this down. All right, so. You so might be handing me the liner. That, yep, nope, the liner. Got it. Put on that awesome shirt. Because remember, we always want to put something in this. between the fabric we're working on. This will probably be on our projects page today on the website. Love it. On the projects page, we're doing it to where that way it's broken out. It's like a recipe card that you can look at, and it's got the step out. Isn't that the cutest? I just love this. This stencil makes me so happy. Now, this is a, look at this. So, Target hat, $5 t-shirt. Really great color. A new day. It's it's very soft. Yes. It feels really good. This is a large because it runs small. I would probably get a larger and extra large. But this is great to be able to wear um, an athletic bra with and be able to work in the yard or your mm -hmm. garden or or just load up the kids and throw this over your bathing suit. Yes. Love it. So cute. Such a cute color. All right, so you're going to put like an emblem here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna and you're going to go rogue and do I the like flip her idea. I love that. Well, we want to use the sun on our plate, so then I don't have to cut up two stencils. So, guys, if you hadn't watched us in the beginning, as far as we're also going to be making a caddy, I would like that. We this is a great little caddy for you to be able to put your paper plates. Um, your silverware, some napkins, maybe even a roll of paper towels. 
mm -hmm. to be able to have out at your table where everybody's going to be eating outside, um, maybe by the pool or just by the patio. It's just adorable. And this was... Um, the price in there. I'm not sure. There wasn't a price. It was probably... Probably in the dollar section, though. Yeah, I have no idea. I but, didn't pick that one up, but I sure do like it. Yes, it's adorable. Too cute. Too cute, too cute. Guys, it's so as you pop on here, uh, let's talk about the stencils because we've Absolutely. got some people watching that haven't used them before. So what I just did is there was a cut line. You can see this other stencil that's new. These lines are what we call a cut line. And so I cut them along the line. Amy's using the popsicles. I'm using the flip flops and hello summer. And then we have our other two pieces just set off to the side. They are an adhesive stencil. Um, it's a polymer and tri mesh. So it's the same as if you were screen printing. You're actually going to push the gel art ink, which is what we're going to use on the shirt. And Amy, are you going to use gel art on yours? I'm going to use, yes, I'm going to use the ink, which you can use the ink on, on other wood. surfaces. You can, but it is created to be permanent in fabric. So what we do when we are using our gel art ink on a fabric is that we want to push it through the mesh. It's not like icing a cake where we want to get good coverage on top. We actually want to get it in. So you can usually hear it scraping through the fabric and that's how you're going to get the best coverage and adhesion um, of the medium. And it's that simple. We are in and out and done look how cute and the peeling is always our favorite part oh that is the dark that is the darlingest isn't it great? if you didn't do anything else isn't that just the I cutest know. i love it so now do we have we don't have any water do we as far as just kind of walking them through no but if you want to do you want to do yours and i can get us some water and yeah. give these flip-flops a second to dry give me just before a second I flip it over and i'm gonna pull this up absolutely tell you what while that dries why don't we go in and take them and show them how to do a plate absolutely all right friends we are going to use the sunshine stencil on this plate and we're going to use our ceramic paints um we are actually going to mix some colors to get a darker base and then we're gonna watercolor inside of that. Um, typically when we are mixing ceramic paints we like to use just a white plate or a glass coaster. We use something that we can mix the colors on with an artist brush and be able to see the color that we are creating and working with. And I'm actually gonna make a darker orange for my outline. So I'm using the, we have dark chocolate latte with hot and spicy to make me a darker orange, orange. Mm -hmm. Sorry. so that I can have a really good outline on my sunshine to color in. Guys, the inks are so versatile. They allow you to be able to use them on your fabric so you can customize your t-shirts, which I would never send a child to camp with a, an expensive t-shirt. Oh my goodness, no. I would buy Half them the time for it come home. $2.53, $4, cute little shorts, and then customize all of them. Absolutely. So then that way they know they're going to have some stuff that mama made for them. You can even customize their uh, sheets. Yes. You could make a pillowcase and the say, reality is someone then would if be you, so cute. If you do get to bring it home, How? you know it's theirs. <laughs> yes. But um, I, I love the idea. That is so cute. So cute. I do. I love the idea of a pillowcase. I don't I know do why. Too. Because when the kids are sleeping over. What's sweet is uh, at our camp, the kids have actually made pillowcases at camp and had all their camp friends sign them. And so that was really important to my kids to be able to kind of have that memory. Yes. It was really sweet. Yes, I all right, love Let that. me move over so you can take center and I'll go get some water. All right, so now this is our little caddy that we've got that I am in love with. 
I just think it's so happy. And this was from Target. So it's just plain, which isn't much to write home about. But that's why we love being able to customize it. You could actually, um, on the other side, if you wanted to, you could say summer on this. But we just love the fact that we wanted to be able to show you with all the ice cream cones what a cute, cute caddy this is for you to be able to put your paper plates, your paper towels, and everything in. So I'm just going to show you. I've laid down the center of the stencil because we do have the cut lines. And on this brand new stencil that we've got today, which is adorable, I just cut this here and laid it across. So I'll use it and then I'll lift it and then I'll lay it down so that'll allow me to be able to go the entire distance. So I'm just gonna go on and take my ink. And so you may be going, well, how come you're not using paint? Because I like the ink, it's easy to wash out. I'm already using it, I'm making my t-shirts. So you can use the ink on a painted surface as well. And I'm just gonna lay this down, and I've got my spreader, and I'm gonna lay it at a 45 degree angle. And I love the white on top of this pink color that our friends at Target have already done for us. Mm -hmm. And now it allows me to be able to customize it. And don't, don't forget, like your towels, anything that you're gonna use for the summer, it's fun to be able to buy them inexpensively and then customize them. So I'm gonna do just a little bit more here. I have to kind of get it close to me where I'm working. And now I'm just gonna take the edge up like this and you'll lift it because it is adhesive. And there's no need for me to actually clean it. I can go in and lay it down and marry it up, which I'm gonna turn this around and then marry it up to where my design just continues. So Michelle, do you wanna show us how to do the rest of our t-shirt? I would love to. And then we can show them how to wash the stencil. I think this is dry enough now for me to flip over. You typically want to give your ink um, probably 10 to 15 minutes to dry before you would flip it to the other side, but you're definitely gonna want it to be on the outfit or shirt or whatever that you are designing for two to four hours and then you're going to heat set it and what that does is it allows it to bond to the fabric and then the heat will set it in the fabric well how did i get that on me oh well, i know how how the spreader's oh. over here all right i was like how did i do that no so guys this is the back of our shirt michelle I decided to go rogue and she did the flip flops on the front which is absolutely adorable this is a $5 shirt from Target. We love the color. We love how soft it is. So that way you've got your emblem on the front, whatever you decide. You can do the sun, you can do the flip flops, maybe the watermelon. You could do um, the ice cream cone if you want Absolutely. to. Absolutely. And then that way we're gonna be doing the Hello Summer on the back. Whatever screams summer to you. Yes, um, And that. the colors that we chose is a scale of blues. So we go from the really pale blue, which is if the creek don't rise, and then um, hey y'all, and then our navy in the center, which is hush your mouth. And we're gonna work from both of the edges back in, which is nice, because the word um, allots for it, you know, so where you can do it. We're gonna do our S and our R in the same color. If the creek don't rise. If the creek don't rise, that's the actual name of it. Amy loves to name these, it's the best. That's the color, which is actually really, really pretty on this it's orange. It's one of my favorite colors that we have. But you know me, I like my turquoises. Our second color is Hey Y'all. And that's what we're gonna do this next letter on. So being able to balance the fact that it's got six letters. It's really nice. It, it works really out does. really well. It's very symmetrical. You so could it allows still you to do, do that. it with a five letter word. You would just only have the blue in the center. Right, definitely. Cute. But these are so cute things on when this you're orange. playing with colors, y'all, that you don't have to do everything in the same color and you can balance and there's always options. So guys, as you're popping on here, please say, hey, my name is Amy and I'm here with Michelle and we're showing you our brand new Hello Summer stencil that we love. There's so many cute, adorable projects that you can do with it. Of course, we are making a t-shirt 
we're wanting to be able to show you how you can use a lot of different colors. You don't have to think about something being um, just one color. Absolutely. And I think it really, because of the boldness, the font, and yes. everything on this, it's just perfect. Well, and I love the way the blues pop on the orange. If you'd asked me years ago if I would do blue and orange, I'd have been like, uh, you're crazy, but I no, like it. No, I think it's fabulous. And then two, we're getting ready to finish, look at this, to be able to make these adorable plates, to be able to use outdoors, to be able to have ice cream, to be able to eat watermelon, different fruits, have an outdoor an outdoor meal, it's wonderful. All right, yes, I'm okay. sorry, I took and that And my from you. hello is gonna be white. Love that. And I am working pretty quickly because we don't want the gel art, chalk art, any of our mediums, mediums to dry in our stencil. Um, because then when we pull the stencil off, it comes back through, the mesh comes back through all of that medium. And you'll either end up tearing the design off or you'll have issues with your stencil. We don't want that. So we always say work quickly, get it through the mesh. And this is a lot it. like, this is like silk screening, guys. It very much is. So you could, you could do this on a tote. You could do this on a beach bag. You can do this on a, a, a towel that you're going to take to the beach. Your bum, chair. Bum, bum. Are we ready? We love this part. This is the peel and reveal. Yeah, 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 yeah. So cute. Yes! So cute. Hello, Look summer! at that. Oh, I love it. Look so at that, guys. great. Is that not the most cute ever? These are a few of my favorite Theo is, Theo is telling everybody hello. Look at that. This, you guys need to make this t-shirt. It's the cutest. This is the cutest. It is great to do yard work in, go to the pool, sit outside. That way you can get a little bit of vitamin D and sun on your arms. Mm. And I think for women, V-necks are some of the best. I think they're more attractive. And these, like are only, these are only $5 at Target, and then that way you can customize them. Mm -hmm. All right, so I just almost messed that up. <laughs> All okay, right, so, so we're going to show you a stencil real quick. It. I just put it in our water. I'd already washed our other stencils, and I just have a seawool sponge. You don't need a seawool sponge. You can do it with your hands. I am cleaning on the non-adhesive side, and I am just gently working my medium out of the polymer and the mesh. Um, sometimes when you're working with fabric, you can feel a little bit of lint on the back side of your stencil. Just lightly rub it with your fingers and it will come off. And then we lay them adhesive side up on a dry surface. And let them air dry and- Then you're good to go. Good to go. All right, now we're gonna switch over from using the ink on our fabric to ceramic paint. Major difference, guys. Yes. Major difference. Because the ceramic paint is developed <coughs> for use on mugs, ceramics, plates, um, glass, vases, anything that you mm -hmm. can comfortably put into the oven. Can I have the flip flops over here just for them to Absolutely. be able to see? Absolutely. They got a little wet. Yeah. <laughs> You've got that, and you can let them see these. I am in love with the popsicles and the ice cream. I know. I think they're so cute. Oh, my gosh. They're the cutest. All right, so let's talk about this. What are we doing? Okay, so I am going to mix some, like I mixed the orange and the brown, I'm going to mix some orange and white and make a much lighter orange, and then I'm going to put some gold metallic in there, too. Um, and so I'm going to watercolor all of this, though. If you notice, most of the colors inside of these other designs are very transparent. It's because we watered them down and let them blend naturally, just like watercolor would. So I'm going to blend the color, but then we're going to water it down as well and just kind of paint it on like we would if we were watercoloring. And I think the gold, just because it's the sun. It needs a little bling. Yeah, and I will tell you guys, a lot of you, if you have Etsy stores, if this is something that you like making and reselling, people are gonna love this for summer. These are really the cutest. And you can get these plates at the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. So even if you wanna be able to make some mugs for this summer, um, you wanna be able to have these. I have plates that I pull out in the spring and the summer 
my red, white, and blue. Oh, how fun. So, um, do you want to show them what you're doing yes. as far as blending? I'm just mixing some orange and mm -hmm. some white. So guys, as you pop on here, please say hey and uh, tell us where you're tuning in from. And then of course, if you share the video, your name will go on for a drawing and we're gonna be giving away um, this Hello St Summer stencil. Mm -hmm. Do we have the gold one under you, the other yellow that we have? Is it down there? As far as... The new ceramic? Um, you need it. You need a gold? No, these are no, all... I thought there was the brighter yellow down there, but maybe not. I may not have any Do you in need here. the gold? I've got the gold. Okay. I got it. And I have another brush. Yay me. Do you want me to go get it? Nah. We'll just do orange and gold. I just, you know, last minute thoughts. I should have used the other brush. <laughs> Look, I just used my dry one to mix my orange with water. Do you want another one? This is why you always have water. Because you may have, change your mind have, about all have, the things. We have more We do have brushes. more. Should we get the bright orange ceramic? We have it. It's right here. Okay. We might need all kinds of fun colors because I like colors. So it's important, guys, as you're noticing on here, it, to work with it really thin. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to be thin. Thick. This is much, mu much more like watercoloring. Mm -hmm. And so you'll see how Michelle's got just a little bit of dab and how much water she's adding. And I'm working the color outside in the water. I'm not just, I let the water go beside my paint and then I work the color. And I want to bring it out. It, it's I'm gonna go it against the grain as far as how somebody's gonna feel. A lot of times I'll use Q-tips. Yes, Q-tips are great. a piece of fabric. And to be able to just kind of blend this because it literally does look like watercoloring. To me, that's the part that makes it look like it's hand painted. Yeah. It's adorable. Oh my gold's not showing up like I want it to. So you can make it just a little bit thicker if you want to, to be able to allow it to show up. And I'm gonna add some orange to it. Guys, I really encourage you to, to join our Crafting a Beautiful Life. It's, it's a Facebook a fun group. page. And I love being able to see how everybody is using the stencils, how a lot of people are building their business, mm -hmm. how they've made gifts, how they've used it in a wedding, in a birthday or whatever. And I would love to see how people are going to be using this for summer. I love Absolutely. it. Anything that we've got, just blanks. When you go shopping, whether you go to a garage sale, an estate sale, or Target or Walmart, look for blanks of things that you can customize. I think that looks darling. I like the way that it's separating in the yes. center, like the sun, yes. like this fireball. Which it kind of did that when we were working on the popsicles. And I love it. Like, see how it's kind of separating? It just makes it look like it's been shadowed and it's got a little bit of depth to mm -hmm. it. So that's a good thing. I mean, as far as coming back in and having it just maybe a little bit thicker, but it really makes it look like it's been hand done. I love that. I think that's darling. I like it. Now Bright we need, sunshine. It's just like as we were making our t-shirt. You need to be able to allow this to dry, to dry. at least two hours. And then you want to take a cloth and put on top of it um, and then make sure that the cloth is protecting the ink and then go over it about three or four minutes at about 250 degrees and let it heat set. Mm -hmm. The thing is that way, if you, when you wash it, you turn it inside out and try to keep it out of the dryer and just wash it on cool water. Mm -hmm. With your plates, when you're using the ceramic plates, the uh, paints, it's good to let these dry Yep. If you can let it dry overnight, that's even that's better. That's better. And then pop it in the oven and bake it. Um, you can put them on a cookie sheet and bake them at um, 325, 350. What, do you, what were you saying? I, said I love that one. Oh, it just, it's it, just, I love it's it. It's happy. Well, you love the color too. I do. And then that way, let it bake for about 25 minutes and keep it out of the dishwasher, just hand wash it. That's and you right. can enjoy it and it's food safe. So I love all these projects. I do too. I think it's absolutely adorable. And 
It allows us. Uh, we've got. Um, oh, do you have a future grandson? That's so exciting. Uh -huh. I think that's like if, if he's in the oven or, you know, we we love the fact that like we've got our niece and nephew coming over this weekend, Frankie, Virginia. With all their precious children. But. Love it. They have two new foster girls. I know. I love it. Fostering. Yeah, you're going to have a house full. It's I know. It's going to be awesome. Fostering. It's such a great way to be able to bring kids into your home and love on them. And my bestie just took two more. Two more foster children. Uh -huh, she's six total now. These girls are these girls are sixteen and seventeen. I love it. And so we have they have never oh Carrie, congratulations, due in August. And Yay. um you could make him little onesies. I know, right? Oh my gosh. That's why I said we need a sun's out guns out for a baby onesie. Gotcha. Okay. Not necessarily for me. <laughs> but you could you could totally do all these cute little things on a onesie. I love and look adorable. You could even just say hello, like hello. I'm hello. Here. I, I made I it. I am here. <laughs> I love that. Nothing better than a new baby in a place, I so. know, it's my favorite. So guys, we hope you love our brand new stencil. We love it. Hello summer. It's all about the yummy stuff that we're gonna be able to make because our, our lifestyle the changes, things. the way we live changes, it's much more low key. We've got time to be able to make things, but I love customizing things that can be inexpensive mm -hmm. and making clothes that can be adorable and very inexpensive. Absolutely. It's the way to go. All right, guys, have a fantastic Friday. You'll see us back here on Monday with a brand new stencil that you're absolutely going to love. Have a great weekend, everybody. Share the video. Tag three friends. Your name will go for the drawing. We love you. <laughs> Bye, friends.